you go. Try to talk. Uh, good evening, clientele. Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond the Feet. In this video, we're going to have a look at the Sockney Kinvara 11 after 100 k's, or as we like to call it, the Kinney. So Features Australia have kindly sent us three socks to give away. So these are their Elite Light Cushion No-Show socks. So we've got two large as well as one medium to give away to any of you guys. At the end of this video, we'll show you how you're able to jump in and get on board that giveaway. So let's jump into the Kinney video. Kinvara 11 it is that nice lightweight daily trainer if you've got slightly stronger foot or if you mildly pronate this will work well for you not a whole lot of stack height or rubber underneath the sole a kind of a light workhorse so this can easily do everything from like up to a half marathon if you want to shoot to go running or even go to the gym in this can easily hit all those boxes I've had uh, the Kinvara 8 9 10 and this is 11 8 was probably my favorite I think just because you're always comparing it to like the first shoe you've ever had. That's why I think uh, the Kinvara 8 just kind of ticked all the boxes. This is a great shoe. Got a lot of exposed foam underneath your foot. Kind of you only need carbon rubber in your heel as well as your toe off. Have worn out a bit more on that left side of the heel than I have on the right. Slightly come down a bit more on that lateral heel side on the left hand side than the right. But yeah, holding up very well. Just kind of expected. Uh, these shoes only have kind of 600 Ks out of them. You got just your exposed foam in the forefoot just going to that push off that's where you kind of will see the most wear on this don't have a whole lot of wear on that xt900 of the uh, big toe section just a lot of that forefoot wear is coming out of this did love uh, the kinvara 10 but i just thought that the sizing wasn't a whole lot right uh, they have kind of slimmed this down a bit more narrower i did take 11 and a half in the kinvara 10 this guy i have gone up into that size 12 so it fits a lot better along the upper of the shoe we'll get onto the upper a bit later and what i don't like about it the longest run i've done in this is 20k's i think it was kind of that 450 pace so definitely held up to that didn't kind of feel like it bottomed out in the last kind of 5k's at all it's definitely holding up to just what a kinvara is built for we'll start off with the outside and just work our way up in the shoe what kind of liking and disliking this is kind of my go-to shoe for wet weather so any kind of rain that's been around and just the foot parts are a bit wet i just love running in this shoe it's very grippy uh, even in the wet runs and kind of that pebble dash that no other of my shoes can actually hold on to this is just your sure footing uh, with a lot of that exposed foam they just grip very well in the wet very good outsole like as i said before you would only look about 600 k's out of these not not a whole lot more just because it's going to wear out quickly uh, as well as the midsole is just going to compress quite a bit quickly Moving on to your power run, so they did use the power foam midsole in the Kinvara 10. Not a whole lot different, you got a slightly thicker stack height, um, but as far as fit and feel goes underneath the foot, very similar. Like, yeah, you wouldn't really notice a whole lot of difference when it comes to underneath the foot uh, if you have been running the 10s. I felt like these didn't bottom out, kind of getting into the later stages of that 20k run I did. Uh, kind of the responsiveness as well as the kind of cushioning in the shoe. Still held up very well over the later stages of the run but yeah this is that kind of shoe you wouldn't do much more than half marathon in unless you're quite efficient runner and quite light on your feet but the midsole will hold up to kind of whatever you throw at it coming in like things like 219 grams when it's in a us size 9 uh, this is a very light shoe moving on to the upper they dialed in the toe box a lot better on this version than they did the last so as i said a bit narrower uh, slightly a bit shallower as well so Whereas the 10s were a bit wider and deeper for some reason, just being a kind of not a runner's fit. But this is narrow, a bit shallower as well. Uh, it does taper in a bit quicker, so I would suggest doing a half size bigger than the uh, Kinvara 10. 
with the kind of lacing system i'm not a whole lot sure why they added a bit of kind of re repulsory or whatever you call it customers upholstery is that it what are you talking about <laughs> this thing ah. on the the lacing system there's just like another layer of fabric here that just doesn't need to be there it kind of constricts you from tying it down around the top of your midfoot quite well uh, they could easily just yeah not have that there and just have some like 3d print uh, that will do the same job and probably take off about another nine grams locks down very well the heels slightly bit higher in this as well uh, than the Kitty 10. Did like this as far as the lockdown goes over the whole shoe. Can still utilize that lock lace that I do on all my shoes. Very good light workhorse. Holds up to basically whatever you throw at it. This kind of is my go-to shoe for just that light but still enough cushioning underneath your foot. Not a whole lot of torsion through that midsole so if, even if you get slightly bit inefficient uh, into the later stages to run, you're just not really going to be slopping around in the shoe. So isn't as flexible as something like a Freedom is by Sikoni. With the Kinvara as well, it's not supposed to be that kind of soft max cushion shoe. Uh, that's what you buy the Triumph for. Uh, if you want something that's a slight bit lighter weight to the, compared to the Triumph, you buy Freedom. This is just that kind of slightly firmer, responsive shoe. You're not going to kind of sink into it as much if you want something that's a bit more snappier. This will definitely do that job for you. Running with that 4 mil drop, I think it's like a 28 to 24 stack height. Uh, so quite a bit of cushioning underneath your shoe for a shoe kind of that is built for a light daily trainer. Kind of goes up similar to a New Balance Beacon. I'll have a post 100k review on both of those. Very good shoe. So improvements on this Kinvara 11 compared to the 10 that I liked. The upper is a lot better as, as far as fitting goes. Midsole, slightly bit more cushioning underneath your whole foot. Uh, that definitely keeps the weight down as well. So that power run is a bit lighter than the power foam that they did use. So you still got more cushioning there for the, about the same weight as the midsole. But yeah, very good sh shoe for what it is built for. Uh, there's no, nothing really wrong. They just keep it quite simplistic over at Sikoni. If you want to pick up a nice lightweight daily trainer, choose this if you're looking for one of those bad boys. Now with the feature sock giveaway, what you gotta do is head over to our Instagram page at Beyond Defeat. There'll be a photo of the Kinney 11, the thumbnail. Like that, comment on the code word is Kinney 11 and just your shoe size. And out of those, once this video gets to 100 likes, we will pick three winners. So we've got two large as well as one medium to give away. Do all those few things and we'll be sending a few socks out to some of you. If you're running the Kidney 11 at all and uh, have been experiencing either good or bad things, let us know in the comments. I'd like to hear what uh, some of you guys are thinking when it comes to running in the Kidney 11. We'll uh, wrap that video up and uh, give us one of those ones. Hit the subscribe and we'll see you in another video.